everyone. It's Krista from the Education Department here at Wildlife Images. Welcome back. Um, I am out here in the enclosure today with some pretty cool birds. They are the African Sacred Ibis and the Sandhill Crane. These are really cool birds. They're kind of wading birds. They really like the water. They're aquatic birds. Um, so we have a really beautiful enclosure with a waterfall for them and a little stream and they really, really love it in here. It's their favorite place. Some really cool things about Sandhill Cranes. Not only are they beautiful to look at with their gray coloring and their really tall skinny legs, which helps them walk through marshes and wetlands and look for food, but Sandhill Cranes, um, they migrate in the Western United States in groups of up to 10,000 birds. It's been called one of the most amazing migrations of any animal in the entire world. So it's spectacular to witness. We have two Sandhill Cranes here with us. They are a male and a female and their names are Niles and Daphne Crane. Kind of an old throwback to the show Frasier that was on television. These cool birds are over 20 years old very charismatic, a really fun creature to have here. Um, our sacred ibis, let me tell you a little bit about them. Sacred ibis were most known for being in the country of Egypt. And this bird has a rich history all the way back to the pharaohs. So they were so revered that pharaohs would have them mummified with them. And actually millions, millions of mummified Ibis have been found in the tombs in Egypt. So uh, an amazing bird, really cool, rich history. But unfortunately, this bird is extinct in the country of Egypt. In this case, they didn't have enough habitat. And this actually goes for the Ibis as well as the Sandhill Crane. We kind of took over a lot of their habitat, which is their environment. It's their home. It's where they live. We got them into the situation and it was actually humans that got them back out of this situation. So when we realized that these birds were in danger of becoming extinct, humans stepped in and we have seen their numbers increase. Um, that was done in a, a, a number of different ways. Sometimes there's some breeding facilities, particularly in the case of the Ibis. They were introduced in other countries where they really thrived and having their babies, they've been able to increase and introduced these animals back into the wild. Got my friends coming to visit us right here. This one in front here is actually Niles. You can see a widow's peak that he has right up between his eyes and he has gorgeous white cheeks. That tells us he is the male. And he may even show some cool things to you right now. He might bring me a rock. He might bring one to you, who knows. So fortunately for both the Ibis and the Sandhill Crane, because humans stepped in, um, the, their numbers have increased in the wild. And though the ibis has not been found to come back into the wild in, e in Egypt, it has been found and its numbers have increased so much that it is not endangered anymore. And same thing with the sandhill crane. If you wanna look at the ibis right here, this awesome black and white bird here, you can tell why this bird is so perfect for living in marshlands. Do you see his beak? If he tips his head into the water, oftentimes you will see him tip that beak upside down and right into the water. He's gonna be looking for berries and seeds and amphibians and insects and even little fish. I really hope that you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about sandhill cranes and African sacred ibis this day. Um, kind of a sad story and then a good story at the end there. So make sure you give us a like, check us out on Facebook, and not only that, but make sure you visit our website. We've got a lot more uh, virtual encounters coming up while everyone's on quarantine because we just miss you too much. So visit our website at wildlifeimages.org and um, we will see you soon. Bye guys.